As a child, I would cut out images from the comics and like turn it into like my own toys. Like, <laughs> so I, I even see that as moving forward as a part of my work, how I kind of collage images together. I just tried to think about if Snoopy was a part of my world, interacting with my figures, what would he look like and what world would he live in? So um, a lot of my figures are a little more squared off. That's the approach I took with Snoopy and Woodstock. And then in a similar way, like I layered imagery in back of them and on top of them, and that's usually how I work. When I was approached for the opportunity, I definitely jumped at it because Peanuts has been a big part of my childhood. And so to be able to kind of filter those characters through my vision is kind of like a once in a lifetime experience. I love Peanuts. First of all, it was an honor and a surprise when they asked me to come and, and uh, maybe work with them. I had the chance to go to Santa Rosa to mm. see their uh, museum. And we went through all the archives and we saw uh, all the, the drawings of uh, Schultz. So it was all a, a, a great moment and lots of inspiration. The drawings of uh, Peanuts and the characters um, had, uh, of course, an influence on my, uh, the line of my drawings. When I was working again on finding ideas for the, this collaboration, Mr. Ray meeting uh, the characters of Peanuts. It's funny how I rediscovered some uh, um, drawing and lines who were very similar. So of course, he had a lot of influence on me. I'm actually gonna dig into like all the images from Peanuts. They actually, they actually action images, you know, like running or like dancing, tumbling, roller skating. I was really attracted to that sort of images because I thought, okay, because my idea is actually to bring them more energy to make them like explode, you know, because I mean, my work of course has, you know, because of the way I use color and, you know, shapes and everything. What I want to also like, I want to trigger that into people too. I want people to feel energized, you know. The kids, you know, Charlie Brown, you know, Peppermint Patty, everybody, they sort of like, they're kids, but they have like this adult sort of like, you know, psychological struggles all the time. And then, but the one who's actually fantasizing about everything is Snoopy. You know, and I was always I was always fascinated by this this combination, and it's very universal too. You know, how could he should like actually be able to do that? Because like he can relate to anything, and that's I mean that's the beauty of it. Playing with peanuts is so beautiful for us because it's like so sweet and so genuine and so real. It's not like trying to be something other than that. Definitely has a close relationship to the art that we're putting out there, so we totally feel a great connection, and we're honored to be like playing inside of that that realm. Snoopy is like a very reduced kind of like graphic language. It's still like addressing a regular kid's life. So you have like a little kid, it's a pet, archetypical house. Some of the imagery that we've been toying with is to some degrees in the same reduced language, but there are bigger icons in the sense of that they're not someone specific. It's like a cloud, the moon. We were able to combine those two. So like now Snoopy is on top of our little cloud. So it's like, you know that character, but now it's on top of this archetypical kind of like reference point. And that's something that, that it was perfect for us. It was perfect like marriage between the work that we do and the existing language that's globally like recognized. Cartoons, I feel, are so powerful. They're such a powerful way of conveying not only my inner feelings and inner emotions, they're like emotion emojis, I guess. And I find that Peanuts does things in a similar but different way where you have these visuals that are so delightful and you have these stories with the human heart which are touching, but you also have some dark, uh, human things that are apparent and get explained in a way that kids can kind of understand. That's something that I think is really important and that I'd like to do in my art as well. But at the same time, I, I don't want to add to the downers that I feel are being pushed out into the visual world. I want to elevate in a way that's not pretending that everything is okay. And I think that the peanuts do that in a similar way. So the reason why when Peanuts approached me and I wanted to do this was that it was something I grew up watching. Um, it has a great large audience 
and I like to engage more people, so it just made perfect sense. The way I kind of went about with the artwork that I created was that um, I work on different kind of body of work. Even in painting, it could be um, figurative to abstraction. And also, uh, there is a significant strong character in what Schultz has made. And I tried my best to kind of capturize what peanuts represent and find a way for me to kind of resonate to that. When I came to New York, you know, these projects were the project that I want to kind of engage myself. Um, again, with the audience and my influences, and I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to be creative and um, make something very creative as well.